It seems as if the reports say uh, the USMCA is due to pass uh, with very strong majority. Uh, as you know, uh, Speaker Pelosi has been very positive about the terms that were set uh, in the final version here. Uh, are you okay with that, this idea that, uh, that Speaker Pelosi feels as if uh, this is a win for the priorities that she set out there? And what do you think is going to be, I guess, the, uh, the, the tangible economic benefits we're going to see? I think we're going to get uh, in excess of 50 basis points of additional growth in GDP as a result of this agreement. And pe people who say this is just uh, NAFTA 2.0 just don't understand the technicalities of this agreement. This is a whole new agreement that really brings the trading relationship into the modern era. And as important as China is, this is our largest trading bloc and, and incredibly important to U.S. workers and, and U.S. farmers. And this addresses everything from enabling small businesses to be able to compete more fairly to expanding our agricultural opportunity and opening markets to protecting digital trade, which is a, a big focus of the U.S., financial services, uh, protecting that there will not be data localization in any of these countries. That, that's a very important issue for us around the world, that uh, data can reside uh, in the world and be protected. But, you know, this is a very, very detailed agreement that uh, Ambassador Lighthizer has led a, a interagency team that almost impacted every single one of our agencies. Mr. Secretary, you just mentioned the digital trade component of the USMCA. We have so many conversations about rules of the road where digital, uh, where digital services, digital, um, digital e-commerce, et cetera, are concerned, uh, what the regulations should be. Digital taxes that are now being uh, passed through in, in certain countries around the world as well. Could the component here, the outline here, become a template for other trade deals? Uh, absolutely. This, this trade agreement is going to be the model of what we use going forward in, in many of the chapters. And uh, a lot of the currency provisions that we developed in USMCA were put into the China trade deal. So that's just that's one of the examples.